You realize in, in nine short days, we'll be on a bus at this time, heading to Gettysburg, and these places will come alive that we've talked about. Okay, yesterday we finished with Pickett's Charge across that open field for less than an hour, 50 minutes. 11,800 of them came marching across that field right into Union artillery fire. For the last two summers through the Lawrence County Historical Society, we've provided a youth program on the Civil War. We've taken 11 and 12 year olds from the county schools and we've brought them together for about three weeks and we did some lessons on the Civil War with a focus on the Battle of Gettysburg. Robert E. Lee had come up from the South attempting to go to Washington and have a major victory in a little town called Gettysburg, a crossroad with about 2,000 people. And the Union forces realize that this is where it's going to happen. Mount Jackson was the main town that Battery B members came from. There were some from Enon Valley, but there were also some from Newcastle. But this uniform, the red, means artillery. They had red trim on everything, even on the back, and these pants were pretty much issue that everybody else wore. The infantry, um, it was the, the blue, but it had a light blue stripe. topped it off with a reenactment group, the 10th Pennsylvania, took the kids out into the lawn and drilled them and marched them and they became soldiers in a matter of minutes. Order arms, fire! We topped this whole class off with a trip down to Gettysburg it's a class I started about two years ago after having taught in the Mohawk District for 37 years and after having taken about 31 groups of fifth graders and their parents down to Gettysburg. When I retired, I wanted to keep this going, keep this alive. The kids are very enthused. It gives them a deeper appreciation of history and we hope to do this for many years to come.